Hello Leo! Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. For the supportive Oracle cards, the Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue. Already shuffled, let's see what we have. This is definitely a double card deck. It seems like more often... yep, there's another double card. Okay. It just keeps coming out double cards. Okay. Leo. <sighs> Alright, coming into the situation. This is very interesting. On your side, I'm seeing the Six of Cups, which is usually history, a thing about history. We got the, is it the Empress? The Star. Alright, the Star, that fits better. The star, and then we have the finances and career. The star is more about hope, in my opinion. Sometimes wish fulfillment, sometimes things like that. Um, balancing things out, I've heard that happen before. Like pouring out um, what's not working to go forward towards a fresh start. I usually think of it as like a hopeful, optimistic outlook. Um, getting that wish you've been waiting for, that type of thing. But I'm getting there's history here with this situation to where you've been hopeful before. You've been hopeful before and it's paid off, I feel. It's paid off. and But the thing is, with career and finances, it's almost like you, you need things to get a little bit better. Like, I feel like in the pocketbook area, in the wallet area, in the money area. Um... It doesn't feel like things are quite where you want them to be just yet. They could be a little better. Better? Why am I developing an accent? I have no idea, but it seems to be happening. Um, I'm getting that Six of Cups feeling, though. Like, I don't feel like you're content here with the amount of money you're making. It feels very much, especially like finances and career... That really feels like that's where this is honing in. Money. Something dealing with money. Something dealing with, like, hopeful hopeful about making more. You've done better in the past. You feel like it's time to do better now. The thing is, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they got true love. They really like how things are. They feel like th where you are, what you're making, how it's going is all on point. They feel like... There's no more that needs to be warranted. They don't feel like you're going to go anywhere. I feel like you're very cordial. I feel like you're easy to get along with in this situation for whatever reason. Not that that's a rare thing for Leo because like, if you want to be easy to get along with, you'll be easy to get along with. I just don't feel like they realize how much you really do feel like you need to be making some more money. And you're liable to go chasing that and finding that if necessary. Because between the two of you... You got Deception and the Three of Swords. I don't feel like this connection is really working out. But I feel like you're okay. I don't feel like there's adversity with whoever you're dealing with. But I feel like um, they don't want to give you more and you're not getting more and you're not happy with that. They seem to be telling you that they can't. I don't believe that's true. You got Deception and the Three of Swords between the two of you. Um, I feel like the situation could end up heading for a problem because I feel like the deception is them telling you that they can't do any more for you that does seem like that's what it's going towards they can't do any more for you is what they're saying they're doing the best they can they just want you to hold on I feel like they're giving you a line I feel like whoever this is is giving you a line like this is the best we can do as things come forward in the future we'll, we'll try to keep an eye out for you to try to help you get more I just feel like that's a line. I feel like they're handing you a line. And I feel like that's another thing with that Six of Cups. You're seeing it for what it is. And you know that's the truth. You, they're deceiving you and you know it. And that's the Three of Swords too. You know it. But you're not like... I don't feel like you're throwing a fit over it. Because you're kind of like, why bother? It's not going to get me what I want. But you see it for what it is. As you keep going forward, you get the Seven of Cups. You really do plan to make more money. You're seeing that this area, this these people are not working with you. They're handing you a line. They seem to think you're buying it. You're not buying it. But you're also 
not, I feel like one of the reasons you're not making a big deal about it is because you're like, well, there's other options out there. And if they don't want to pay me more, maybe somebody else does. While you're feeling, I feel like you're actually even searching out possibilities. I feel like you're searching out possibilities. While you're doing that, they seem to be completely unaware and feeling like they got you where they want you. Everything's set. They don't have to worry about anything because you're not going to go anywhere. So they're feeling like that line they handed you is going to work it out for them. No. See, because when it keeps going forward, you got the chariot and the eight of wands. I feel like you're going to leave this situation. I feel like you're going to leave this situation. You're going to get that chariot. This situation is, is on a crash course to moving on. I Because I actually feel like it's mostly because they handed you a line. Maybe not only because you really do believe you need to make more money and you're looking to find a way to happen for that to happen. But them kind of giving you a line, it's kind of like they lied right to your face and you knew it, you didn't like it, and you're just kind of like, well, if that's the type of respect you have for me, I, I need to go. Because I feel like that's what's going to happen. It's gonna, it seems like you're going to find the right thing and everything's going to change like that. You're going to hand in your two-week notice or whatever you're going to do. Some of you, I feel like, are just going to be like, well, today's my last day. Um, it depends on how you feel about the situation you're dealing with. If somebody's going to do that. Somebody's going to be like, well, you know, 3 o'clock, I'm done, just so you know. Because I'm getting, especially the Page of Wands here in this deck, and I'm noticing the paper airplane, like, I feel like they're getting burned by their own words. I feel like they're burned by the situation. Uh, the Page of Wands, that's usually a more passive card. Uh, somebody who just like they there's nothing they can do that's true they just have to like kind of accept what you're handing them and just deal with it as they go there's nothing they can do to change it uh, I just don't feel like they have a place to make their decision to help you get more money like if there was a chance they thought that would work they would do that but they don't have the power to do that I feel like they're getting burned by their own words they're they're realizing the resignation or however you're leaving to them it burns they're really not happy with it and you got the world card. This phase is over. You're on to the new one. You're on to your next phase. And I'm getting like, the chemistry here is telling me you're going towards something else that fits you. Because this chemistry is going towards your next situation. You're finding something that fits you a lot better, something you're a lot happier with. You're, you're bright, blue skies ahead, that type of feel. You're finding something else that fits you better and pays you better is what I'm getting. And you're happy with it. You're not only happy with the money, you're happy with the, the new job that you're going to be doing. And for some of you, I feel like it's not just the new job, it's the new possibilities that come with it. There's like room for advancement or something there that you're actually not just going into a new position. You're going into a new position with aspirations to go beyond that. And that's that. Um, so the people who are connecting to this I feel like the reason you're connecting to this is I feel like it's giving you that extra push to say start looking for something that you really want if this isn't what you want if you haven't started looking you need to start looking uh, and give it a really go for what you want Not don't, don't, don't settle for anything since you have the room to really search out what you actually want go for what you actually want and get what you actually want there's no settling. There's no need to settle for something. Because if you settle for something, you might as well just stay where you are anyway. I feel like you're heading towards a whole new phase. Because it's a whole new phase. I feel like the, the whatever you're leaving, you're going into a whole new phase of career. Like there's, It's not going to be exactly the same thing. It's definitely not. All right, they're saying leave it. You've got the message. You know what to do with it. If this is hitting with you, you know what to do with it. So I'm going to let that be. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email, james at gmail.com. It's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.